Look at you go. Big stretch. This tabby had four legs and no name when a train hit him in Chicago, but now that's all changed. They thought Lieutenant Dan was too obvious, so they went with Sergeant Stubbs. I just, I just call him Stubbs or Stubby, Stubby Buddy, Stumbles, Scooter. While the severe injuries to his back legs might have meant the end for some stray cats, this guy's story was just getting started. So when he walks, he kicks that, he kicks his right leg around to keep himself balanced. But mostly it looks like he's sort of kicking on a scooter as he goes. When he was found injured last September, he needed parts of his infected back legs amputated. It left him with two different leg lengths and without pads. So he slipped around. The shelter that had taken him in, Community Cat, decided to approach University of Wisconsin-Madison engineering students to see if they could help. Projects that the students feel a personal connection to, um, they always work harder for, um, and certainly um, it's such a sweet story that we, we wanted to help them out as well. So the freshmen worked all semester on designs for prosthetics, even calling themselves Sergeant Stubbs Troopers. They took into account various factors, including that one time Stubbs got out of a full body cast three times in the course of a day. This isn't like a like a fake project where we're just like designing something. You know, this is a real cat. We're dealing with real clients, um, so we need to be as professional as possible when dealing with these clients. In the end, they used a 3D printer to create them, as well as extra straps to help them stay on. They hope other cats can benefit from it as well. I think the idea behind our prosthetics can be used further down the line. Back at home, Schofield could only get one on him the first day. Just see how it goes. It, it's a cat. You can't make him do it, so. Schofield also recently adopted a second special needs cat, Captain Crash, a stray cat from no. Egypt with a developmental condition that affects motor skills. The cats are the first he's owned. This is all I really wanted. I think I'm thinking of a much more cushy life. And a, you never know if Stubbs was a happy street cat, I don't know. but. I know he's a very happy cat now, and this cat's a very happy cat now too, so. Two stray cats who landed on their feet despite their disabilities. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.